Hi, I'm just going to do uh, an updated video for how to get the associated token account. Uh, before, we just required some stuff that um, uh, wasn't technically necessary. It was just uh, the way we did it at the time because it was technically easier to. So now we basically have the way it should be, which is just you just su supply a public key and a mint address to derive an associated token account. So sort of briefly, I'm just going to talk about what is an associated token account. Associated token account is basically um, something that holds tokens for you. So um, when you have a wallet on Solana, you have a public key. And uh, that public key can sort of directly own Sol, but it doesn't directly own any other token. So it, when you do get another token, you actually sort of have ownership over another account, like an associated token account, and um, that account owns the tokens. Okay, so this applies to any SPL token like Serum or USDC, and it also applies to NFTs. So, um, yeah, so you you know you own an account, that account owns a token. Okay, so how to get that account address is uh, you can derive it from the mint address and the public key. There are some edge cases where you can uh, sort of just create one on your own, but the default way is uh, what is at, like the, the output of this endpoint is the default way. That's the way you know ninety percent plus ninety plus percent. Uh, this will you know be what is actually used. Sometimes people make their own and it's, it doesn't match up. So, um, and they and they do that for a variety of reasons. But basically, um, let's let's see how we do that. We're going to use Python. So we have a Python wrapper. You can do this uh, in any language. It's an API endpoint. You just literally just make a GET request to here. Um, so we don't even really even need the wrapper. But um, but so for example, I have. Um, so let's just start. I have this this address. This is actually uh, my address, um, right here. Okay, and um, well, actually, before I do that, sorry. Let me just install the blockchain API. So just pip install the blockchain API. Um, this is the first thing because we're, we're going to use the Python wrapper. Um, if you need, um, so if you haven't signed up yet, you need to go to dashboard.theblockchainapi.com and create an API key pair. It's very easy to do. Um, and then just um, we'll copy and paste it in here. So, um, so just go uh, from the blockchain API, import the blockchain API resource, and then say get. Okay. So now get to, get associated token account address. Now um, this is basically that's all we need to do. Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'm kind of tired right now. <laughs> We need to initialize the class um, with our API key ID, okay, um, and our API secret key, and um, because that's going to send those that key pair to basically um, every uh, every it's going to send it in every request and off make the proper authorization for us. So now we don't need to do that. Now we can just call each function that we have here. So get associated token account address and um, now we just need to provide those two arguments. So in the case of an NFT, here's my wallet address. I'm just going to get that there. So this is my public key. And then the mint address. OK. So this is an NFT I own. So the mint address can be the mint address of um, of a token account on Solana, or it can be, um, yeah, or it can be of an NFT. So, spoiler alert: when you uh, click View on Soul Scan on um, on Phantom, it actually brings up the associated token account address. So, th this will be our output: this NJ1 account. Th that's going to be the output. But the actual NFT is this one, um, and you just copy and paste it from here. I don't really like using Soul Scan uh, all that much. I like the Explore better, but okay. So there you go. That's that. Um, and uh, we can now just run this, and this should be the NJ1 thing. Yep, there it is. Okay. And then we can also do that for any other coin. So we could also do it, like, let's say um, for, you know, Serum or something, right? Oops. All right, well, anyways, 
you can you can then do it for any other SPL token. And if you want a list of the uh, mint addresses for SPL tokens, go here and go to the balance endpoint, and we uh, linked right here a list of SPL tokens. It's this JSON. It's the official list from Solana. Um, and uh, yeah, so like if you if I wanted to find the address for USDC, I just search. There's the address. Um, actually, yeah, I think that's the mint address, but let's see. Oops. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Um, but yeah, okay. Basically, that's the idea. Um, actually, we can check if that's the mint by because right here we we list some of them. Yeah, so this is uh this is verified. Yeah, the mint address. So. This is therefore the associated token account address that will hold my USDC. All right, so thanks so much. I appreciate it and uh, happy to help if you need any help. Um, and uh, thank you and join our community, join the API. Have a great day.